Hi there, this is Martin Bayer from JetBrains. In this screencast, we'll explore TeamCity feature branches. With distributed version control systems like Git and Mercurial, it didn't take too long for people to start formalizing their workflows. Many teams work with a branching model, where every feature is developed in its own branch and merged back into development later. From there, it can flow back to the main branch and so forth. This is a great model, as every developer can work on their own feature and be isolated from changes going on elsewhere in the project. Let's see how this model maps to TeamCity. On the TeamCity server I have here, you see that this build configuration has a number of builds that are completed. On the left, I can see they come from different branches. Now let's create a fresh branch and push it out to the Git repository used by this build configuration. Let's make it a feature branch and let's call it awesome. There we go. If we now go back to our TeamCity server, we can see a build is automatically triggered for the branch we've just created. TeamCity recognizes this branch and runs the build configuration for it. All of this doesn't come without configuration. In order to make TeamCity recognize branches, we have to add a branch specification to our VCS root. Next, we can specify what a branch looks like. By default, TeamCity only monitors the default branch, but by adding our own branch specification rules, we can match additional branches as well. For a Git repository, this will typically be in the form of what we have on screen here. We're telling TeamCity that all named heads of our repo are a branch. Note that additional specifications can be added as well. We can also negate specific branches. Let's exclude one from our project. The project I have here is working with feature branches, so maybe we want to only build these and not the default branch or the development branch. We can modify the branch specification here and add the word feature to our filter. If we return to the project overview and trigger a custom build, we can see only feature branches are listed here. When working with GitHub, there's a big chance there are pull requests involved in the development process. GitHub treats pull requests in an interesting way. The potential result of a merge is listed on a separate branch. This means we can add this special branch to our VCS configuration. We want to build all changes as if they were merged with the master branch, so let's add this one to our branch specification. The full path for this special branch is shown on screen. It's probably best to not automatically build all pull requests though. Since anyone can send a pull request, anyone can potentially run malicious code on the build agent machine. Luckily for us, in TeamCity 8 we can set up branch filtering in the VCS trigger and exclude all pull requests from building. We can do this by adding a branch filter. This filter is quite similar to the branch specification we entered earlier. If we now return to our project overview, we will get automatic builds for all feature branches, yet pull requests have to be triggered manually. After going through the contributed code first, we can start a build, and if that one succeeds, it's probably safe to merge in the pull request. The TeamCity UI allows us to filter visible branches. By default, all active branches are shown. If we'd only be interested in a specific branch, we can select it from the dropdown. From now on, TeamCity will only show builds for the selected branch throughout the user interface. That is, of course, until we change the filter again. More information and screencasts can be found on our website. Thank you for watching, until next time.